And they will here on the turnover. King will take it herself against Beverly and score. We saw King, I thought, do that supremely effectively against Loyola, going all the way after the steal and finishing at the rim. And that time, she just faster than everybody back down the court. Now here comes the pressure. Heidemann strips it away, takes it to the hoop and scores. Yeah, it's no surprise Wisconsin may struggle with the pressure. Park certainly has done a lot of other things to get herself in the lineup. Marquette up to long three from Heidemann, yes, yeah, against lot, Green Bay. A lot of the things we know Green Bay traditionally does well, I think you look at it too as a good drive and finish again. That time finding around the zone. For the Badgers on the shot clock at just five. Into the hands of Heidemann, that's a fancy move to move it ahead. Heidemann to Wilborn. How about that? I really don't think she could have finished herself. But Athleticism with plays like that, hands out. Hands behind her back, sharing the basketball is something she's done well recently. A little bit more of the kind of possession Wisconsin's looking for, though, and trying uh, the way they put it, execute late in the shot clock. But you rattle in, a, a, in and out of three. But this continues for the Badgers. Ball's knocked away. Wilborn, Heidemann in the lane, counted, and the foul. Fourteen points for Natisha Heidemann. One again off a turnover. The extra pass. And just a reach in foul. You can't just come to the game and decide to make that 60 foot pass. That's happened before on the practice floor. Why not for Lauren Van Cloonen to get in on the axe? Gilreath, three early in the clock. And now Marquette will have the final look. Wilborn off the window. Davenport working on Leshevsky. Good footwork for Erica Davenport to find the opening. Points a perfect five for five for the floor. The one thing the Badgers have gotten going a little bit as a three goes down for Blockton, but creating problems. Now Heidemann left all alone. It has been an Atisha Heidemann night. Spingola long three. Marquette hasn't needed the outside shot often in this game, but they get it there from Spingola. So Marquette dictated terms from start to finish tonight against Wisconsin. Carolyn Keeger and her team will walk away with a victory. 88-65 over Wisconsin. Back to the Al after this.